Hello everyone, a long time no see. Today's video is a Lolita vlog from back at the end of August. I took some time off work, filmed a bit of it, and voila, here is the video that is super late. So the video is set up like a few previous vlogs in which I'll show you my coordinate first and then the vlog itself. So first off, I headed off on a hiking trip with my family. It was one of my New Year's resolutions this year to go hiking in Lolita, and I wore a really casual coordinate. The coordinate is Dorothy inspired with a very comfortable Baby the Starshine Bright Cut So OP. Initially, I wore my red Emily Temple cute shoes to explore around Banff downtown area, but then changed into Crocs for a more comfortable shoe option for hiking. So some fun facts about Banff is that it was the first national park in Canada established in 1885. The town itself is at an elevation of 4,537 feet or 1,383 meters, making it the highest town in Canada. The Banff National Park is 6,641 square meters and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Before the pandemic, Banff National Park welcomed more than 4 million visitors each year, and while the numbers have decreased due to the pandemic, it's still a popular destination for the locals. So with my family, we checked out the downtown area, which didn't have many tourists that early in the morning, and then headed off to the Cascade of Times Garden to view the flowers. It's very pretty and a stop that I would recommend if you ever visit Banff. After that, we then headed off to the hiking trail, which is the Tunnel Mountain Trails. They say it's an easy hiking trail, but it definitely was not. The elevation was no joke, and man was there a lot of heavy breathing during this hike. It was really nice to get out though and just hike without any deep thoughts. So after basically climbing a mountain, the highlight of the trail is to have a view of the town of Banff below, which looks really small. It was a workout, but it felt really nice, I guess. Would I do this again? Maybe? But definitely not in Alita. Afterwards, I treated myself to a beaver tail, which is so delicious. A great treat to the end of a day of hiking and lots of walking. I hope to be back to Banff in the future for some more hiking. 
and just general outdoorsy things. Going outside and touching grass, as the young people say, is really good for your mental health. All right, moving on to the second coordinate. This coordinate I wore to go around cafe hopping in Calgary. It's a very casual old school coordinate featuring Baby the Starshine Bright's Baby Doll JSK. I love the summer feels with the boater hat and the ankle socks. This dress is the perfect dress to wear if you are planning on eating a lot of good cafe food. So I'm going to show you around my favorite hangout spots whenever I'm in town. First up is Sot and Found Coffee Roasters. Ever since discovering this place, I literally have to go here every time I visit. The coffee is great, the baked goods are so nice, plus the staff are always so, so friendly. I highly recommend this place. Next up is a coffee shop on 17th Ave, a popular street for a very diverse dining scene and has lots of hot spots for coffee. Today's cafe I'm showcasing is Philosophy Cafe. The interior is super cute and they offer a lot of different coffee options. I got the Lavender Iced London Fog and man, that was a really nice drink. I really love this gradient, so aesthetic. And then the last cafe I'm going to showcase is Ansem Cafe. They are a Korean inspired cafe with a flower shop attached to it. I love that they have both sweet and savory food options. I really like coming to this cafe for more Asian inspired treats like black sesame honey toast, injolmi toast, ang butter cookies. I definitely highly recommend this cafe. It's so cute. And then the last coordinate for this video is for a Lolita meetup that I hosted. It's another Dorothy inspired coordinate featuring Baby the Starshine Bright's Whiz Me Over the Rainbow print. The key point for my coordinate is my Kumia Kumia dressed as the Cowardly Lion. Such a cute little costume and really matches with the coordinate theme. Meeting up with the Calgary Lolitas is always super fun and makes me really glad to have a community away from home. So we went to have really good vegan tacos and then checked out the Esker Foundation Gallery for a few new exhibits. The exhibits were Gai Lan Yan's From the Studio Floor with works that tries to connect to a larger ecological or industrial narrative. While there was a lot of interesting things to look at, I didn't think there was much in terms of connecting towards bigger messages, but I guess that's art. It's all based on your own perspective and biases going into an exhibit. Thank you. 
Next up is Chloe Lum and Yannick Desranlo's The Garden of a Former House Turned Museum, which sees a collaboration between not just themselves but with choreographers, musicians, and dancers, and the objects that they produce, be it the costumes, sets, sculptures, and noisemakers. The exhibit was very colorful, bright, in your face, and this sort of exhibit sort of made me question my own relationship with objects, and I found that really interesting. The last exhibit in the space was Robin Arsenal's Falling Off the Log and it was really different. I really love the movement in the work and the usage of space. And then at the bottom of the building, there was this little exhibit by Teresa Tam called the Seasons End Liquidation Shop. This little shop was meant by a person and you can take any item from the shop by exchanging experiences and memories with the sales clerk. It was a really interesting interactive exhibit. We all got this really cute pin at the end of the experience. And then the meetup ended with a little hangout at Gravity Espresso and Wine Bar. Such a fun time, and I really can't wait to see the Calgary Lolitas again. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you've been up to recently and I will see you guys in the next video. 